Hey guys, this is Toron from Secret of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So I haven't posted for... 4 weeks, I think. Anyway, it's been a while. You're not surprised if you've been here on my channel for a long time. Um, so what we're, what we're doing today is actually a part 2 of a character designing slash outfit drawing designing video. I like to do this every now and then. Uh, it just takes so long to make that I don't get to do them often. But in the last video, we did draw the base, which is the skin or the character that you see on screen right now. So for this video, you'll be seeing me drawing the, the clothes and coloring the clothes and stuff like that. So it's currently March 26th. It's pretty late, so might as well, uh, might as well say March 27th. But um, as of today, we are st the Luzon area in the Philippines is still under, uh, what do they call it? Enhanced heightened extreme enhanced community quarantine or something to that sort, or at least some areas are, uh, especially in my city. <laughs> um, yeah, so the coronavirus, it, it doesn't matter if I say this in the video because I'm not monetized, so it, it wouldn't matter. It's pretty rampant around the world. I hope you're okay wherever you are, whoever is watching this video. I hope you're not sick or anything, and I hope that your family members are also doing okay, or the people that you care about at least. Um, please stay safe, please make sure to always wash your hands if you do need to go out, and as much as possible if you have the liberty to, or, or if you have the luxury to do it, try to stay at the, as home as much as possible. I know it's easy to say if you're on a monthly payroll or paycheck like most of us, but Let's also remember that not a lot of people have this privilege as well. I'm privileged enough that I can stay at home and just do, do whatever hell that I want to do for now. But let's remember that some people leave, uh, live literally not even paycheck to paycheck, but um, whatever they sell or whatever you know nets them that day. So please stay at home if you do have the luxury. If you don't, please just make utter care that you know always clean your hands don't touch your face um you've heard this all over the news by this point if you are sick i do hope that you cover as soon as possible um coronavirus or not i hope that you're okay and i hope you get well soon or feel better soon this isn't really a, a easy situation like i mean for me I, I spend a lot of time at home so it's i'm not as you know cabin feverish as other people uh, for a lot of people it's hell <laughs> but yeah i hope that watching this video will make you feel better of sorts it's just a chill joint video but i hope that you know it's a little bit entertaining or it's something to do or something to watch when you have to stay at home <sighs> yeah so we've been in i think two weeks or almost two weeks worth of quarantining at this point at least in the zone area um luckily i don't need to go out i've done my groceries my dad that would last us a month and actually it was quite funny because the when they announced that they were gonna do a necessities only um type of quarantine we were supposed to do groceries the next day and we're like okay people probably already have chilled out and they're not panic buying anymore and like the past two or three weeks before that so we were like okay we can just chill in the grocery buy what we need again for one month that's, that's always been the schedule or the cycle for us and then suddenly the spokesperson of the president suddenly says oh we're going under enhanced quarantine and then everyone was scrambling to get some kind of information about what the details are what it meant and they they waited. <laughs> they pretty much waited until the press cut of the president to release the details, even though they did say beforehand that there's going to be some kind of lockdown of sorts or quarantine of sorts. And of course, at first they said, like, oh, even the groceries and stuff will be closed. And it took a lot of interviews from news channels to get a lot more info out of them. So obviously, people panicked. And even me and my dad had to bump up our grocery shopping a day earlier and we had to you know just rush out of the door to get ahead of the other people that would probably panic by 
So that didn't help at all. I mean, there are a lot of things that the government is doing that is very... <laughs> I can't say very well thought out. I mean, I'm glad there is somewhat of a swift response, but um, some of the responses are pretty lacking. Uh, I don't want to get into it, I guess. I mean, there are some LG or local government units that are doing great, and, you know, they're suppressing some of those efforts, and that's frustrating to watch. <sighs> you, know, you know, government. I mean, government's always frustrating. And, I mean, some people, maybe the response is enough. For me, I could see that there could have been a lot more that we could have done. Whatever. Anyway, let's actually talk about the video and the jobbing. Let's not dwell on this too much, I suppose. Yeah, just stay safe. Okay? <laughs> Alright, so for this video, we're again drawing one of my characters. His name is Kalirian Orina. He's a red haired, red dragon dude. I don't really draw any dragon y parts on this drawing because it was a pain to do that. <laughs> So I just left him looking like an elf since he's able to assume an elf elvish form anyway. And his outfit, I actually quite like the first layer that I drew. I actually quite like that look. And I felt sad that I had to cover it up with the actual uniform. Because I really liked how the folds looked and all of that. And what can I say? Yeah. It's a very me type of design I feel. I wanted to go for a bit of a more detailed looking design like you know with more accessories and more gold parts and all of that but when I was actually drawing it it didn't feel appropriate for this character so I had to tone down a lot of the accessories and details that felt um, it would hinder with his you know movement or it didn't seem practical and that's a, that's a struggle for me. I really like those intricate looking designs that have a lot of trinkets and stuff, but when I think about how practical they are on the characters that I draw, they don't seem practical at all, so I have to chill out and I hesitate, so I go with the more simpler design, or yeah. <laughs> One thing I want to do next, maybe, I don't know for what character I'll be doing it, but I do want to go with, a, with an embroidered pattern look for somebody's clothes. I don't know who just yet. There are some characters that come to mind that might fit the bill, but I want to do an embroidered looking thing, maybe. And then maybe someone with a lot of dangly, jingly, trinkety stuff, maybe. You know, it's, it's fun. I really like doing character designing. I just don't know how well they'll be received on the, ca on the channel, especially since I don't I say character designing, so typically when a good character designer should be able to reflect what kind of character it is or what they do just based on the clothes and the outfit. That's what a real good character designer does. What happens with me usually or most of the time, especially in the past, my characters just end up as like a model where I just draw clothes that I want and it doesn't matter what they are. To some extent, I'm still holding on to that just a little bit. Um, of course, I'm slightly taking account more like this guy, he's a knight and all of that. So I didn't want heavy iron armor on him, but I did want a more combat looking outfit on him. So I'm still not at the character designer point where it's completely tailored to like if a mage looks like this, or if this mage is like is a fire mage, then yes, this kind of outfit and this kind of. Um, accessories, yeah, not yet. <laughs> I'm still just drawing clothes on characters at this point. It's fun though, I can actually quite like how some of my stuff turn out sometimes. Okay, so this is what I was saying earlier where I did do some sketching. So this character does, does have a hood, and I was trying to figure out what would look best, I think, because I had an image in mind of how it would look like, or at least in the sketchbook that I did. But when I was doing it on the character already, it didn't seem, you know, as aesthetically pleasing. It looked kind of too much. And I think that's one of my fears when I do character designs. I do want to do, to do really intricate stuff, but 
I'm also really held back by the thought of, oh, it looks too much. Oh, it's, you know, it's just too much detail. It's too distracting and all of that. And I think that will have to do with how I layer clothes or how I do the details, maybe. <laughs> and yeah, I'll get there eventually. I'll pack this. But hey, it's one of the cactus I actually do draw some form of armor on. I actually do have some cactus that... Do I? Yeah, I, do. I have like two or three cactus that actually have steel ar armor. Ugh. Man. I'm kind of scared to draw them now since I know that those armors were not accurate in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> and they wouldn't protect my character, probably. Um, I'll deal with that eventually. <laughs> so yeah, either way, I hope you you don't mind me constantly toggling on and off his clothes. Uh, I just had to do it. It's kind of hard to do line art when I see when it's dark. So I had to toggle his clothes on and off just to show, just to see where my lines are going. And then for this hood part, I actually did color it like a tealish color at the at the start, but then because I wanted like because he's red and there's a lot of like brownish tones and dark blue tones in his clothes, I wanted like this pop of color that was like kind of slightly vibrant and interesting, and they wanted to go with teal, but the teal kind of didn't work out for me. Like even the texture of the hood at first didn't really work out, so my best friend suggested say suggested that. I should use maroon so that his hair would pop out and it's hesitant because it might clash with his red hair but in the end she well she's the better you know um she has more technical knowledge regarding these stuff so i tried it out and she was right not surprised <laughs> so yeah it, it did help a lot and i quite like the hood now <laughs> Now that I think about it, there's no other kind of teal color in this outfit, so the teal really would have stood out way too much and it didn't really coordinate well. So the maroon worked, especially since his hair is red. Mm -hmm. So I also do a lot of other enhancements after this, but I didn't show it in this video anymore. I toned down how shiny his... um first layer is because it is like too shiny i wanted it, it to be slightly more matte so i changed i just like toned that down a bit i added some highlights here and there but then again i don't think they're that interesting to watch and it might be too boring so i cut those out and yeah that's pretty much the video and i really enjoyed this i really liked drawing this i'm currently working on some like more detail-ish references, though not as rendered as these are. And that might be the next video, it depends on what I end up doing. But yeah, I hope you guys stay tuned. Also, I managed to keep it within 15 minutes. It's 14 minutes and 22 seconds. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> okay, right, so we're jumping to the preview. Um, no spanning shots and it's digital. And that's all of the layers of this outfit. Anyway, I hope you guys are keeping yourself safe and healthy. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you around.